Hello and welcome to another episode of Pika 8 Adventures. I am Last of Wari and this is Tetris, an arcade puzzle game and a Tetris clone made by Spaz48, also known as Azure or Azure Dragon 48. It was released in February 2020. I don't know which name is the primary one, but the only place where the developer is featured as Spaz is Lexlawful BBS, so I suppose we'll go with Azure. Now, this is the spot where I typically explain the game story and what it's all about, but as you obviously see, it's a Tetris clone, down to its logo, so we know exactly what to do. The question is, is it good? Links to the game and the author's HR page are in this video's description, feel free to check them out and play on your own. Now it's time to get our hands on these colorful blocky pieces. And I'm not gonna mess with settings, I think defaults probably gonna work okay and I can already see uh, that, yep, it's classic Tetris gameplay. I don't know how precise it is, down to every little detail. I'm not a Tetris guru, that's for sure. If you are a Tetris aficionado, you can tell me in the comment section down below. Uh, but in my eyes it looks good. We have your accelerated uh, fall and uh, we also have instant fall and uh, clockwise and counterclockwise rotations and yeah it's fine and we also have uh, some particle effects in the background which fancy up uh, the whole deal but don't really affect the gameplay at all so there is something to look at even though you kind of more supposed to focus on uh, the figures the pieces themselves so i will try to go for that i'm not sure how long uh, i'm gonna last like this because talking at the same time and playing tetris which is a puzzle game an arcade one since you are very much limited when it comes to time yeah i can make mistakes more mistakes than i would usually do so that can be a very short, relatively short gameplay piece, but uh, yeah, works fine. I'm not sure if uh, this music, this uh, remix of a classic Tetris tune, is uh, that nice in my eyes and ears. I don't really like it at this point, but it's not too annoying, so I can tolerate it and. Uh, it's more fun to watch, right? If it was just me completely silent and uh, uh, little blips and blobs where I rotate my pieces. Okay, that's better. Now, this is tricky, but it's always tricky with Tetris. So I try to fit this L shape, which is rotated in the right direction, so it's kind of helpful. Over there to the left side, and we have a square, so it simplifies some of these things. And maybe we go here. Now, would be cool if I could put it here, but it's not gonna work. And this is better. Not super awesome, but still better. Uh, that will make it more complicated in the future, so I will refrain from it instead. I'll go for another L shape. Okay, it's only a two block deep, but works well enough. And if we put the square in there to the right side, it will work even better. Let me see now. Uh, yeah, that is okay. And I'm not gonna put square here because I want something that will fit better, hopefully. Yeah, like this piece, exactly what I needed. And another square. I'm not gonna clear four rows at a time, that's like a possibility still, but I really don't think that it will happen. But I think we can do two rows clean up at least a couple times mm -hmm. yeah 
and we are going faster and faster because it's level 3. That's okay, but it's going more and more complicated, so that's not super amazing. This square box is really helpful at this point. I would need another piece that I'm not necessarily gonna have. So I'll go for the safer strategy. Okay, couple of these ones. It as well, and now we have, uh, yeah, another Cheros. And to this side. Okay, not bad. But it's level 4, we're advancing. So even faster and faster. How about this side instead? To the left. Mm, maybe this? I think I've noticed one piece that I will need. It's about to come up, yes. And uh, this... Kind of okay. Yep. Uh, no, so center it is. I have one good spot for a box. Maybe this spot. Yeah, I want to have at least one clear spot for like a, a square or something, but it's not going to come up for a while, so for the moment being it doesn't matter too much. And here, we just got enough, more than enough flat space. will definitely do. Maybe like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe like this. As well. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit screwed, but we have our play area almost empty, so it's not gonna be a huge problem for now. And box here. Yeah, and now we are back to a better place. Now the level is 5, so now it's actually pretty tricky and I almost don't have time to accelerate the fall, because by the time where I figure out where I want to put all of the things, we are already quite a bit low. So I don't think we'll play very long after this particular point. But I think I can still fit a couple lines in here. One or two. Or maybe three. Especially if I will manage to attempt. going surprisingly well. I haven't expected that. Okay, box. Yeah, in this pocket. Into this one. And... Mm, uh, yeah, almost funked it up. But not quite. So, that doesn't count, right? I think I'll go for this. Even though it's not optimal, but... Better than everything else I can think of. Yeah, now, a stick would be great. And we have more and more of this pocket, so that's not really super good. Yeah. 
No, two lines is better than no lines. That's for sure. And yep, rare fast because it's level six. Mm. I almost didn't have time to think. Which means we're nearing the end. Uh, this time for actually sure. This piece will go here, so it's at least one more line. Uh, and another. Okay, to this corner, so it will be a little bit easier. And maybe I can form a line like this for a few more points. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's some price, of course, but I don't think it matters a whole lot. Or maybe it does. The next one would be really helpful. Oh, even two. Okay, sure. And this, if I can fit it in time, yes, is good. At least one, not perfect, but you know how it is at this point. You fit it somewhere or you don't fit it at all. Cool. And maybe this? I don't know. Seriously don't know. Yes, another line, and here, and box to the side, and this will go at least here. Probably wasn't ideal, but my brain just melts at this point. Good, and uh, not good, but whatever. I've got another line for myself. And another line! More and more surprised. Uh, no, I'm not going to be surprised. In about 10-15 uh, seconds? Yeah, it just nice at this point. But 3300 points? That's not terrible. Not terrible at all for Last of Humari. If you played it already, share the score in the comments. I think if I'll be playing this Tetris just for fun, maybe while listening to some YouTube video or a podcast, I would disable music. But other than that, perfectly fine Tetris game. And since music is a kinda subjective topic, I'm not going to subtract any points because of it. So Tetris gets a thumbs up from me. You can tell me your opinion in the comment section down below. If you like this video, you know what to do, sharing it on social media always helps. It was Last of Huari, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you later.